Hey guys, and welcome back to another video with me, Brooklyn. So today I am going to be showing you all some of my perfumes that I have not opened. So we are going to call this an unboxing of my fragrances, okay? So today we're going to start off with the oldie but goodie. Some of you may remember this from the 70s when your mothers may have sold Avon. It's called Wind Song. It smells very, very, very good. And remember the lyrics? They got the lyrics on the back. It says, I can't seem to forget you. Your wind song stays on my mind. It, that was the lyrics in the commercial. This perfume here smells absolutely wonderful. And actually, it's a cologne, okay? And this is the bottle. And I have the body spray too, and they are both absolutely wonderful. I already used some of it, and it stays with you a full work day. I'm going to say eight hours. And it smells wonderful. It smells delicious. This is a very, very nice cologne. And I know it was made, I'm believing, maybe in 1940s or something, but I remember it from the 70s. So this is Wind Song. Okay. The next one is Diamonds and Emeralds, Elizabeth Taylor. She is in a beautiful, sleek glass bottle with diamonds and emeralds printed on the front and with CZs around the bottle in a beautiful gold cap. She smells awesome. I sprayed her on this morning and I went to work and it's been eight hours, maybe 10 hours now, and she's still, I'm still smelling her. So Elizabeth smells very, very, very nice. Very, very elegant perfume. If you want something to last all day and it's not strong and it won't give you a headache, diamonds and emeralds. Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth smells really good. Then here we have Electrify by Paris Hilton. I haven't worn Paris yet. Let's see how Paris smells. This is her bottle. Her lid looks like a disco ball. Okay. Let's see what Paris got going on. Paris smells really nice. It's a, a, a soft floral scent. So if you like the smell of florals, that's what Paris smells like. I used to have a puppy named Paris. I had Paris for... Paris lived a long life. She lived to be in... 20 years. I had Paris maybe 20 years before she passed away. Paris Hilton's Electrify smells very well. Very good. It smells florally. Like a floral, a nice floral scent. A soft floral scent. Okay? Then we have here Ellen Tracy Bronze. This is how she looks. Very, very nice, sexy bottle. You can see Ellen Tracy written on the front. Ellen Tracy bronze. Her cap is bronze. A nice crystal bottle. Very, very beautiful. Let's smell Tracy. I bought Tracy Ellen because she has the same name as me. So I bought it because my name is Tracy. So let's see how we smell. And Tracy smells very, very nice. She had, she did not disappoint. She didn't disappoint. She smells good. Very, very, very nice smell. Very, very nice. Oh, she smells very good. So Tracy, you made me happy. Tracy smells good. It smells like maybe a, uh, I'm going to say maybe a, uh, a, uh, a deep floral. It's not a light floral. Maybe a little bit of musk. Maybe. This is a little bit heavier than the other colognes. This one is heavier. Wind Song is heavier. And Elizabeth Taylor is heavier. Electrify is very light. Very light. You can smell it, but it's very light. These are very potent. You can 
These are deeper. I'm not going to say darker. I'm going to say deeper. So these may be more of a, maybe a musk. Because musk is very, very, you know, it's strong. Then we have here, we have Mariah Carey. Okay, here's the front. That's Mariah Carey. So let's see what Mariah has going on here. Mariah Carey has a very, very beautiful little deep purple African violet bottle with the CZs around the top and the butterfly. Very elegant, very nice. And this looks like the, the flower bulb, maybe. And then the butterfly is sitting on top. So that's very nice. Mariah Carey stink. She ain't doing it for me, girl. Mariah, no, honey. This smells like an old woman. And when I mean old woman, I mean like an 85, 90-year-old woman like in a nursing home smell. One of them old sweater smells. I don't like this. I don't like it. It's, it's strong. You only need one pump, and, and that's all you're going to need. And I don't like the smell of it. I don't know. It smells like old flowers or something. I don't like it. It's a pretty bottle, but I'm not happy with the smell. It doesn't smell good to me. She has some other fragrances I will try, but this one, uh-uh. Someone else might like it, but I'm not crazy about Mariah. Mariah Carey smells of mess. Not good. Not for me. Somebody else may like it, but Tracy is not having it. I will not be wearing that one. It will be just sitting on my dresser being cute because I'm not happy with the smell. It smells like an old funky lady in a nursing home. And I'm sorry. I don't mean to be mean, but that's the only smell I could think of. I smell older people when I was little and they had a smell about them. And that's what that smells like. Somebody in a, in a chair with a blanket over their lap. <laughs> that's what it smells like to me. Somebody just with their feet up and they just sitting there and it, it just got that smell. I, I don't like that one. This one here is Pink Friday, Nicki Minaj. Okay, that's the front and this is the back with Nicki. I think Nicki is so pretty. Okay. And here is Nikki's bottle. Very, very cute. I like that with the gold face and the pink hair and a little bra. Very, very feminine. Very, very, I think it's just beautiful. I like it. This is a small bottle. This is the 1 fluid ounce. So if I like this one, I'll get the bigger bottle. She has other colognes that I want to try as well. And she is close to Paris Hilton. This is a floral smell, okay? And it's very, very light, very light. I am eager to know what the staying power is, the lasting power on this one. It smells close to Paris Hilton smell. They smell in the same neighborhood, florally and you know, yeah. So that's Nikki. Then here we have Victoria's Secrets Bombshell. And I love Victoria's Secrets. I went this weekend and bought some other things, some body wash and some lotion and body um spray. That's Victoria's Secret Bombshell. I love the bottle. I love the clear crystal cap. I love it. It's all glass. Very, very elegant. This one smells, it smells like a floral too. A light floral. Very, very light. I guess people would say you would wear the light fragrances in the summer and the spring and then the heavier ones in the fall and the winter. But I wear my colognes whenever I want to wear them, my perfumes whenever I want to wear them. I have no specific time. If I want to wear my musky ones in the summer, I'm going to. If I want to wear my florals in the winter, I'm going to, you know. 
but that's bombshell from Victoria's Secrets. It smells really nice too. Then we have here Ellen Tracy. Okay, we have Ellen Tracy. We have the body lotion and we have the perfume. I love how she designs her bottles, how sleek it is on the sides, and then she has the the crystal, the, the, the crystal top cap is very nice. And she smells really nice too. She smells like a florally scent. A florally, a florally scent. Floral. Very, very nice smell. And the lotion is as well, and it's not open, but you can smell it through the pack. So let me see. The lotion, the body lotion is very, very moisturizing, and it is very, very silky to the skin. So this is a nice quality set. The perfume and the body lotion. Okay, so... That's that. We have another Ellen Tracy. And this one is called Brilliant. And let's see what she's about. And I like how her label shows through the front, how it's transparent through the front. I love how she how that's made. Okay, so this one, this smells really nice too, and it smells like like flowers, like a lilac. And that's actually what's on the label. And it's called Brilliant. And let's see what the body lotion is about. It's silky and creamy, and it smells really nice. It really, really smells good. So that's Ellen Tracy. Excuse me, guys. I'm putting them on the floor here. My last one here is Beverly Hills Polo Club. Beverly Hills Polo Club. And I have to find some place to put all these colognes and these lotions and perfumes. Oops, excuse me. I'm trying to pop it out. Make all this noise. Okay. I love how the bottle has the little horse on the front with the little jockey. The polo. They play in polo. And then the little brass carpa top. I like that. And here's the body cream. And it's called Sexy For Her. Sexy For Her is the name of this one. Oh, that smells really good. It smells good. It smells good. Sexy For Her. Be Beverly Hills Polo Club. And the body cream is not open. Let me pull a lid, the paper. The cream smells really nice. It is a thick consistency. It's a thick, it's thicker than the other two creams I just shared. It's thicker. And it feels good on your skin. Okay, so this is Beverly Hills Polo Club. For her, sexy for her. That's what it says. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed that short uh, perfume unboxing. And with that being said, I'm going to say, Phil Danke. That's thank you very much in German. So, Phil Danke for watching me and choose. That's what? That's buying German. <laughs>